everyone, and welcome to episode 10 of the Saloon Build. In this episode, we're going to work on sheathing the building and getting it all ready for shingles to go on. So I'm going to start probably on this wall, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Um, and just kind of try this out. I've never actually sheathed with shiplap before. Um, that's something that hasn't really been done in common construction since the 50s or early 60s, since plywood kind of became, you know, more readily available. So this is going to be interesting and fun, so I'll get started here. Well, my GoPro died, so I'm uh, just going to have to use my phone on the tripod. I hope you can hear me all right. with the bottom I'll do three nails in it. That's kind of how they eight penny nails that went through the pipe are really bad. They're just so thin. Okay, well, I'll know next weekend to bring new nails. Okay, there's the first piece. All right, now I got my second piece here. <clears throat> and obviously, you know, the process of sheathing with shiplap is a lot more time consuming than doing it with plywood.
All right, now before I sheathe the other side of the roof, I want to get this attic access put in. So what that's going to consist of, I think is just going to be two, two by fours going this way. It'll be kind of a skinny opening, but um, we don't really have any other options here. Um, I think this is where it's got to go. I don't really want to break up the bar into two pieces, but um, I don't know where else to put it. So we'll just cut pieces 16 and 5 eighths. 16 and a half and just put them in there okay now I guess I think the easiest way to do this will be to just make this hatch three three of these boards wide then it's not too much notching or anything I'm gonna want to reuse these boards for the door so now I'll go cut that out all right now I got this marked out so this is a uh, kind of get one chance at this I should maybe set the depth down just a bit just in case I don't get this right. Finish that off with the jigsaw. Those are all cracked. Just keep those to build the door out of. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Oh, well, we have to do this. Way lots of 
that's a rule. Yeah, as long as it's wide enough that way. It's huge. Yeah, that should work. I guess those pieces don't really need to be. Uh, whatever it makes for a better look, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, and then I can just kind of trim it out so the door can sit, and then I'll just have hinges whichever way would be best for it to open. Right, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now what I'm working on is I just need some blocking in behind here to attach the siding and step flashing to. So I'll just take my measurement, be about 25 long side to short side. So now there will be a spot to nail the cut end of the siding to and to put step flashing for the shingles. Alright, so I found some sort of bizarre bug crawling here. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe somebody, somebody will know. I've never seen one of those before. Freaky looking. Okay, so now we're going to start sheathing this side of the roof here and kind of use up whatever shiplap we have left. Now that this side of the roof is done, I think I'm going to start on this wall, just kind of using up the chunks that I have left and then we'll bring some more back for next weekend. So we finally managed to get all the sheathing done. Had to run back to the farm and grab some more to finish it off. But I just went up that high because that's about where the uh, soffit will line up. So that shouldn't be an issue in there. And start getting some of the trim work done on the front. And siding up there and getting ready to put a finish cladding on the outside here so that'll be nice um be sure to stay tuned for future episodes follow me on instagram facebook check out the merch store links to that will be in the description 
and thank you so much for watching, and stay healthy, everyone. All right, so we're just beginning painting here before the shingling starts. We got my dad and Winchester painting. It's looking good so far.